Hello, Brent from Workspace Admins here. Uh, today we will take a look at uh, using Google's chat API using Google Apps Manager or GAM. Uh, so here I have a uh, Google chat open. Uh, so I have a, a space uh, that contains two members. Uh, so I have my Workspace Admins account and my personal uh, gmail.com account. So I'm going to switch over to um, GAM here. So first command that I'm going to run is gam user Brian. So this one uh, or chat command uh, in gam uh, uses um, domain-wide delegation. So you need to uh, basically uh, provide a user uh, to impersonate uh, today, even though uh, there's now uh, tools or functionalities in the admin console to uh, for the admins to manage spaces. I believe uh, chat API uh, currently supports the uh, user impersonation only. So game user Brian show uh, chat spaces. So this one shows me all the uh, chat spaces that I have access to. So the uh, chat space that, that we saw is called uh, external space testing. And it has the uh, ID of um, AAAA uh, followed by uh, the more uh, alphanumeric characters. So I'm going to now just uh, run a subsequent command. Uh, so I can do gam user Brian show chat members followed by the followed by the ID of the space. So this one lists the two users. Uh, so it looks like I only have visibility into the internal members, and I'm actually unable to see the uh, external member. Uh, they might be a member of the space. Uh, so that could be a propagation delay because I did just uh, create this uh, external space or it could be just a limitation uh, with the uh, Google's chat API. So that's something uh, I would like to highlight here uh, for any uh, folks from uh, chat API, API team uh, that might be uh, watching this video. So the next command that, that I'm going to run is uh, to show space chat messages. So I do have two messages in this space. So you can see, um, actually, there is a three messages now. So I have hello world, howdy, and the test document. So if I go back to Cloud Shell here, uh, so hello world, we have howdy, and we have the third message, which contain the Google Drive file. So you can see uh, you have the URI, you have the drive file ID, the MIME type, um, so on and so forth. So one thing that I want to take a look at is the permissions associated with this file. So I'll just grab the ID of the file here and go to game user Brian, show file info. So if I go down to the permissions field, uh, you can see that there are two permission IDs, uh, one's for myself because I'm the owner and I have the uh, secondary permission with a, this um, seemingly random uh, email address that seems to be a Google group. So this, I I this email address is really only visible in the Drive API. Uh, so for example, if you were listing every single file uh, within an organization, you may see different variations of uh, these uh, Hangouts chat or uh, chat spaces now. Uh, that you can't really, as an admin administrator, uh, don't really have visibility into their membership. So what I would like to see from Google is some enhancements or um, feature uh, updates to other chat API or drive API to expand so that admins uh, from the using chat API be able to list these individual uh, email addresses that might associate uh, uh, or they might exist um, in the when it comes to drive file permissions or the other way around, whether where uh, uh, users or administrators will be able to use Drive API to list some uh, additional attributes about uh, these uh, Google groups uh, that may exist behind the scenes. So rather than display name just showing you Google chat room, uh, maybe providing the IDs uh, of the uh, chat rooms or chat spaces or the names of the chat spaces as well. So uh, 
uh, so the administrator can better understand how their files are shared uh, within their organization, whether uh, the files are shared with individual users or groups or with target audiences or uh, anyone who might have a, a link to a file. So uh, the reason why I'm making video is that I have been uh, accepted into a Google's Champion Innovator program. So I'd like to hopefully uh, use that platform to um, have better visibility or bring awareness to uh, uh, some of the challenges the administrators are having uh, when they are using the Google's available tools and uh, hopefully voice some of these concerns uh, that may have a larger impact for impact on other administrators as well. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything that was covered in this video, or if you have any suggestions that uh, for this channel you'd like to see, uh, leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to answer them as much as possible. And if you'd like to reach out by email, uh, you can always email us at team at workspaceadmins.org. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching.